Hello everyone, welcome back. Shal here from Dravia Studio, and today tutorial will be about how to integrate any 3D model into an IGRI using uh, the risk or shadow catcher uh, feature. In this uh, scene, I have two cars, and I have already set my HDRI, so you can see here. Okay, it is this HDRI. You can take this one for free into the HDRI Aven uh, website. And um, also in normal uh, rendering mode, let's call CPU. So let's say that you want to integrate this uh, 3D model into this uh, uh, HDRI environment and you don't want to model everything. So want to make a, a fast rendering uh, using the HDRI environment okay so let's start the first thing you need to do is to place and make the location of your 3d model to match a bit the uh, 3d orientation of your HDRI so here I have a road in the center and I want my car to be aligned in on this road and also I don't want the two car to be uh, next to each other and I want them also to face opposite direction so I rotate this one to this value and you can see that uh, the car seem very little like toys compared to the HDRI so how to fix this part to fix this one you need to add a camera okay because the render will be done with a camera so you need to to add a camera so let's uh, set our camera position okay so now let's change uh, everything here and see how it look okay very nice so using the camera you can see that we have uh, a different uh, proportion and view now we need uh, our shadow catcher so let's add a plane in the center and make sure that the car tire are on the plane every time okay okay let's look at it like this okay very nice i now need the the plane to be a bit bigger and shorter in the y-axis so let's change the value and also change the position of the the BMW so we get something more random and natural now let's take a look and we have this now we need to make the plane uh, not visible and use the shadow catcher so go in the material add a new material you have this new material here go in the material output click on advance and you have shadow catcher here click on it and you will see that now the plane is not visible but we have the shadow of our vehicle on the HDRI this is the first step and it is nice you can also see that there is a kind of uh, white uh, reflection from the uh, diffuse color of the plane around the vehicle and also on the shader of the on the shadow so make the, the the material a bit darker to cut this effect okay i like to make it around 0.4 okay so i can get something more interesting very nice the next setting you want to apply is to make sure that the engine is not computing uh, light from the back of the HDRI. So click on sample upper hemisphere only here 
so we get only light from the top of the HDRI. This is nice again. Now we need to fix the size of our 3D model compared to the HDRI. So let me make the camera visible again and let's trick and highballing the size of everything. So to do this, I don't change the size of the vehicle. I just use the, the camera position so I can make everything a bit more interesting. Okay. As you can see, it is clear that the BMW is a bit uh, far away from the camera, but it is look too small. So to fix this problem, we will fake the size of the BMW by just scale it as this and eyeballing as a size. Okay, it's look a bit uh, interesting now. And I think we'll go with this and let's try a render. And the result, yeah. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we get a very nice effect. The Mercedes and the BMW are well integrated in the uh, in the HDRI. Uh, it is a bit of uh, eyeballing, but it's work and it's fast. You don't have to recreate the environment to f to put your model inside the HDRI. So now you can just uh, go to the color management and add some contrast like this so everything look uh, more integrated and this is all for this tutorial i hope that you enjoy it and if you want to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and also go to our patreon page and help the channel by being a patron thank you for watching and see you the next time